Since Sachana Seth's arrest, who is accused of killing a four-year-old son, police have learned so much more. Like in Goa, where the tragedy unfolded, the service apartment staff spotted bloodstains on the floor that led them to alert the police. The cab driver who was driving Suchana to Bengaluru diverted his car to I Mangala police station in Chitradurg in Karnataka, unveiling a heartbreaking revelation. The body of her son stuffed in a bag. But that's not all. Recent discoveries in Suchana's service apartment room have raised even more unsettling questions. Cough syrup bottles recovered by the police prompt an investigation into whether Suchana administered it to her son before the alleged smothering incident. So before we dive into new details, if you are new to the Indian Express, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for continuous updates on this case. Now let's step back and look into the individuals involved. Suchana Seth and her husband, Venkat Raman PR. The couple met when they were research fellows at the Raman Research Institute between 2008 and 2011. Venkat Raman hails from Kerala and is currently a data scientist. In 2010, they got married on November 18th and it was after nine years their son was born. Things were good, but not for too long. They were headed for a divorce. Sujana filed a domestic violence case against Venka Drummond on August 8, 2022. The domestic violence case is reported to have been filed in the course of divorce proceedings and custody of the child. She accused Venka Drummond of physically abusing her and their son. Sujana alleged that she had been living separately due to fear of violence and abuse and that the husband did not care for her during childbirth. She provided the court with copies of WhatsApp messages, pictures and medical records to substantiate her allegations. Venkat Raman denied the allegations in court, but things did not go in his favour. A family court in Bengaluru ordered a restraining order against him on August 18, 2022. Venkat Raman was barred from entering Suchana's residence and communicating with her and the child. Last year, on September 21st, the court ordered him to pay monthly interim maintenance of 20,000 rupees every month. As Venkat Raman performed the last rites of the child today in Bengaluru, Suchana continues to be in police custody.